Bridge forward, bow in line with MSE PSK. Captain forward, both anchors ready for emergency. What's up guys, welcome back to another day from the high seas from the South Atlantic Ocean on our first voyage from Singapore all the way to Tima in Ghana. This is going to be interesting because I have never vlogged a port of West Africa because I was not on YouTube that time. I have sailed on these kind of small ships with cranes and you will see why these cranes are required on these ships. Let's head to the bridge and start the informative part so that you also know what happens in the day or life of a navigator. Yeah. Alright, so this is our EGDIS, which is the electronic chart display indicating system. So just look at the cursor over here. That's where we are in the South Atlantic Ocean. There is South America and our destination is over here in Ghana. This particular sector is called Gulf of Guinea. And over here guys, let me tell you, it's a very dangerous area. Lot of piracy over here. It is more dangerous than Somalia these days. Coming back to the point, we are 1528 nautical miles away. That is our waypoint. So at this speed around 16.9 knot 17, we cover approximately 400 nautical miles in a day. So close to 1600, so four days exactly remaining. And the weather looks absolutely amazing in the coming days. It's, uh, we have passed the bad phase of this particular voyage and if you haven't checked that video you can check it out two times i am like we faced heavy heavy wind wave swell everything yeah so i'm pretty happy but today is kind of like an overcast sky i will show you that in south atlantic ocean the sunsets and sunrises are absolutely spectacular so let's see if i can capture those Over the course of the next few days, everything went well. We covered our 1500 nautical miles until we reached the arrival day where we were in for a surprise. out where exactly are birth and if you move the Egdis, this Merce Cairo, that is where we have to go. So we have to wait right now for this ship to go out. Till that time we are standing by on the various channels, VHF channels. It is time for me to introduce you to the sponsor of this video. It is Surfshark VPN. Now you'll ask me why currently are you using a VPN? I'll tell you why. As a seafarer, you know, I travel to many, many countries in the world. Wherever I go, I have to buy a new SIM card for the internet because on the ship, the internet is very slow. As a creator, I have to upload videos from all over the world. And in some countries, YouTube is banned, for example. In Ghana, I was facing this problem. In uh, Dubai, I faced this problem. So how do I solve this problem? So there comes in VPN. What it does is it takes your location of the IP address. So for example, we are in Ghana and transports it all the way to India or USA or wherever you want it to be. And boom, problem solved. We have a unblocked YouTube uh, website where I can upload my videos. And this video is probably uploaded like this. The most important use case of Surfshark VPN for seafarers or perhaps the entire world. 
it is that it keeps your online data safe and secure how does it do it it basically encrypts all of the information sent between your device and the internet this restricts cyber criminals and big companies to you know grab hold of your data so if you all want to save your online data then you can download the surfshark vpn app by checking the link in the description also get 83% discount if you use my code currentveer yeah and get 3 months extra for free so there's no harm in trying it yeah guys what's happening is we are drifting away from our intended position still have some time to wait here so we have to get back somewhere over here a drifting ship requires the navigator to be extremely alert at all times i'll show you why we have given hard starboard on this particular occasion and yet the rate of turn is just 9 degree per minute it usually should be 20 to 25 degrees per minute at medium to high speed therefore it's harder to break the momentum of the ship quickly at slow speed due to its weight therefore early detection and early action is extremely critical okay we are going alongside right now we are still drifting waiting for another vessel to come out station the guys have already prepared the ropes as you see and that ship which is coming out was exactly the ship you we were waiting for captain forward both anchors ready for emergency very well so uh, as usual the other Both is right there. Bridge forward, bow in line with MSC Trieste. Moving line or shore forward. Mooring a ship is one of the most dangerous operation we conduct on board. It demands good coordination, teamwork. and effective communication there is absolutely no margin for error as one mistake can cost a life so happy to see land after 25 days of sailing and what a what a sight this is yaar i mean this is something to die for believe me yeah yeah wait let you put there okay thank you thank you guys Same government forward uh, all headlines on 60% springs on break. Thank you for. Alright, it's time to have a well deserved dinner because you got late in the maneuvering. Yep, guys, back at my workstation. Passage plan preparations. To be honest. So I've done the paperwork and all. You can see Tema to Lomé, uploaded the route, etc. So this was hardly like a 14 to 16 hour port stay, and I'm very happy. Believe me, I'm very happy. But it's a small ship, not much stress, same money. <laughs> it's good, yeah. I mean, uh, no complaints. No complaints. This is a live example of why we have to check. Mooring lines regularly in port. It happens because of many reasons. Number one reason is like 
a ship passing from the other side from the sea side then next is like the mooring lines you know sometimes one becomes tight one becomes slack so it causes this kind of movements like one is pulling forward one is slack yeah it's uh, very tough to visualize i know but uh, that's why i made the night lapse we did not have to use any of our ship's crane here since tima is a very developed port and has its own gantry cranes as you see in the coming ports in africa we will use the cranes and i will show you exactly how it's operated Desmond ready for departure all set guys So I just came down on the jetty to check the drafts, the final departure drafts. Uh, this is a loose line we have on the ship. We are right now just three and two, four and two, four headlines, two spring lines. Uh, Fine, let me know when we can take out of auto tension. Raman, you can take out auto tension, no? From there, Captain, uh, we will be making fun. Let me know once you have made it fun. All lines on board. This was our short and quick port stay in Ghana after a 25 days voyage. The next port will be Lome in Togo. But before you close the video, don't forget to check out the link in the description of the Surfshark VPN and use the code Karanveer to get 83% off. This is your port stay in Ghana. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, it's good. You enjoyed it? Uh, not much. Not much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no show leave. Yeah. Yeah. No show leave. No show. Nidil, how yeah. happy? Yeah. Yeah. Only two ports remaining. Two yeah, ports. Yeah. 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 Both yeah. Both the sign off. They're going to sign. Yeah. Oh, both these guys are going to sign off. So they're the happy lot. Yes. And uh, he didn't get show leave. So yes. Little bit sad. Yeah. Little bit. But the sunset is beautiful, right? And yes. that makes the mood happy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nidil, bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the best part I'd say. Yeah. So in any case, if you found this video informative and got some good knowledge, don't forget to share and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe.